Hey everyone, it's Mary, and I thought I'd do a little video today, um, mostly because I was trying to get out of doing actual work. <laughs> uh, I thought this would be more fun. And also because Dangerous Secrets comes out in 19 days? I don't know. Uh, very few days. Like, not even three weeks kind of time. Uh, which is extremely exciting and really scary and kind of awesome all at the same time, uh, if that makes sense. I think I'm more nervous about this book coming out than any of my other books because there is so much expectation. Um, you know, it's not a brand new experience like an original book would be. You have uh, expectations, you know uh, the frozen world, uh, you are ready to debate uh, things and accuracy and all that good stuff. Um, so I hope I did you proud. Uh, as a Frozen fan, I tried to build a book that another Frozen fan uh, would enjoy and see the nuance of like little things I put in that many people might just gloss over but you would be like oh I recognize that from whatever uh, so there's lots of little uh, things like that in that book and I'm kind of proud of those things um, there's a lot of things that will make you laugh I think and there's a lot of things that will make you cry uh, I was very fortunate that Disney let me do um, a pretty dark book I wasn't sure at first when I pitched them some things like for example you know that the book starts with the sea voyage that Aduna and Agnar take uh, and it bookends with that and so um, I thought oh when I went to my editor I'm like is this too dark and she's like I love it and I'm like oh we're gonna get along so well and so I did not hold any punches back um, it is dark it is sad uh, but there are also some really light and fun moments um, their relationship their friendship is so strong and uh, I really loved uh, seeing them come together even under really really impossible circumstances uh, if you don't cry I don't know I I cried when I was writing the book I cried when I rewrote the book I like I cried when I read it to my daughter um, I just maybe it's just me but I feel so much for them and all that they went through. It's really hard for me sometimes to get through the book, uh, knowing you know where where it all ends up, and thinking about Elsa and Anna and how much that they miss their parents and missed out on uh, really knowing their parents in this way. Uh, if I could do anything, uh, I, know, I know they're fictional, but I would love to give Anna, especially uh, this book, so she could see uh, you know who her parents really were and how much they cared about them. Uh, anyway, it's. I was thinking about people reading the book, you know, too, is because um, a lot of fans, uh, you guys have been writing Aduna and Agnar fan fiction or drawing fan art or whatever uh, since, you know, Frozen 2, Frozen 1 uh, came out. And so you also have this version of the world, uh, fanon, I guess you would call it. <laughs> um, and I love that. And I want. I don't want, what I don't want is for this book to take away from any of that, or for you to feel like, oh, whatever this version of Aduna and Agnar that I created uh, is not legitimate anymore because now we have this Disney version of it. I don't believe that at all. I think I'm a fan of the multiverse, uh, you know, idea where all these worlds can coexist and all of them can be completely legitimate and completely valid and completely, um, you know, stories of their own right. And just because uh, we say it happened this way doesn't mean that what you thought happened, uh, you know, didn't in some alternate uh, universe. And so I never got to read any of the Aduna and Agnar fan fiction because when I was writing the book, the last thing I wanted was to be influenced by someone else's um, ideas and for that to subconsciously end up in a book so I very purposely did not you know click on any of those links or whatever um, though I am now that the book is out um, kind of curious and kind of interested to see you know other people's takes you know I this is my take and with the help of Disney but I would love to see um, other people's you know stories and how of how they thought Aduna and Agnar came in love and I'm sure they're really beautiful and I'm sure they're very sad too um, as they must be uh, the other thing that's awesome about fan fiction and fan art is you get to kind of um, create unlimited uh, scenes. And with my book, we were supposed to have it end at 69,000 words. Um, and we ended up being like 81,000 words, I think. I can't remember exactly. So we, we, I ended up making it longer. But there were still like moments where we had to move on. Like we couldn't do every single scene. Like I would have loved to write scene after scene after scene, especially one after um, Elsa and Honor are born um, and how that went, went. But, you know, they wanted me to have a book and not like a never-ending story and so we had to very carefully pick all the scenes that we wanted to do and you may think when you're reading it oh I wish they had done a scene about x 
Um, and I probably wished that too when I was writing it, but you know, not every scene can be in a book. Uh, and so that's where fan fiction is awesome because it kind of fills in the gaps and you can still write stories, you know, about things that happened in that couldn't be fit in the book but probably happened in their lives and so those are really fun uh to read even if it's not an important scene if it's a scene where they're just laying in the grass talking you know i mean that's that's nice sometimes um to have those kind of scenes that just can't fit into a traditionally published novel so anyway that's why i like fan fiction and fan art and that's why i encourage everyone to keep doing it because i love uh, when people build on a world that's already made uh you know even in my own books um back in the day uh, i did a vampire series where um you know a lot of people wanted to role play the characters or you know do art or fan fiction and i thought it was awesome because i'm like i created this world and everyone wants to play in it. I mean, what? there's no better uh, honor for an author to have than for people to want to play in their world. And so I know this is not my world. I'm also playing just like you guys. Uh, you know, it's Jen Lee and Chris Buck's world. And, and, and so I, they gave me the chance to play in it and it was amazing. And so I am so happy that you guys get a chance to play in it too. And I hope that you will continue. And anything you want to send me, like I will gladly look at and uh, I'll try to repost if I can on my Tumblr or whatever. Um, but yeah, so I don't know. That's just something I want to say about that. Um, hmm, what else could I talk about today? Okay, pause and came back. The beauty video. <laughs> um, yeah, though I do think it would be kind of fun to do something live um, where you guys can actually ask questions. Uh, so once the book comes out, maybe I can come on your Discord servers or, you know, figure out something like that where we can we can chat a little bit uh, about the book since I can't really chat now because I can't tell you anything and I know you want to know all the things. Uh, but, you know, once it comes out, I am doing the um, October 29th at 4 p.m. Central Time. I'm doing a talk with Jen Canalita, who wrote Conceal Don't Feel, The Twisted Tale for Frozen. And uh, we're kind of doing a book release party with my local indie bookstore, Book People. Uh, and we'll be talking over Zoom about Frozen and Disney and giving out prizes. And it should be really fun. So I hope that you can come to that. It's free registration. October 29th, 4 p.m., uh, but you do need to register with the bookstore so you can get a Zoom link, and uh, I will uh, put the, the place to do that uh, below the video so you'll have that. Um, other than that, let's see. Oh, I wanted to show you my shirt. So I got this shirt uh, in the mail, and it said Arendelle on it, so I was so excited until I got it and looked at it closer and realized uh, that's the Ice Palace. That's not Arendelle. What does it say Arendelle? And, like, I really, really wanted an Arendelle shirt. Like, I like the shirts that look like touristy, you know, tourist brochure shirts um, when they say the name of the fictional place, so that's on my wish list. I have not been able to find it, but anyway, I just <laughs> I thought I'd throw that out there because I know you guys are, like, super sticklers for accuracy uh, and uh, well, this is one which is not accurate. <laughs> uh, yeah, so, um, no, what else? Oh, I want to show you my little Adunas. I'm getting way off topic here. But I managed to find three little Adunas. They have not made a Funko Pop uh, large Aduna. Okay, that time, uh, that cut was because my computer froze while I was talking. So clearly it's telling me it's time to go and I'm rambling on too much. So thank you for listening to me blab on and I'm really excited about you sharing the book with you in only a couple weeks and uh, we'll talk soon and uh, goodbye and thanks for listening. Bye.